Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use a spotlight effect or a street light effect, a flashlight effect, a lamp effect. Basically, how to create soft light coming from any type of light. In this case, we're going to use a street light. Let's go from scratch. The first step, load in your uh, image like, you've done, like I've done here. Now click on the new layer button, create a new layer. Now go from the check on the blend mode, switch it from normal to soft light. That's right, we're doing a soft light. Okay, good, hopefully you're following along with me. Next, go over to the left side in your toolbar, select your uh, pen tool. We're gonna draw the path that the light is going to go down. Now this, of course, is up to you, depending on what you think the, the path of the light will look like, but I'm gonna draw a wide path, and then we can adjust it later, and I'm gonna just go there, and then I'm gonna close it up. Okay, so this is what I think the path should look like for our light. Now I'm going to right click on this path, and I'm going to go ahead and make this into a selection. And when I do that, I'm also going to feather the radius by about one pixel. So I'm making it into a selection, feathering the radius, radius to one pixel. Now I'm gonna click on OK, and there we go. We've loaded up a selection. Now, the next, stop, the next part is the critical part. We're gonna go over to the gradient tool right here. And when you click on that, you're gonna get your gradient options up at the top here. Click on this, and then you're gonna see a few things. What we want is we want a white to white, but we want a 100% uh, opacity on the left side, a 0% opacity on the right side. So this is a white, as you can see here, when I click on the opacity stop, 100%. This one here, white, when I click on the opacity stop, it's 0%. So again, we're doing a 100 to zero. Now we're gonna draw the gradient line. I'm gonna draw it something like this and see what we get. Okay, that's not bad, but I probably want a little more than that. So maybe I'll go a little further. Eh, something like that. It's, it's actually better in most cases to do a little bit more than less. So let's go ahead and let's try again. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, good. That actually looks pretty good. So we want we want it pretty pretty translucent at the bottom here, but pretty white at the top. Okay, good enough. Now the next step is we we're gonna go to select deselect. So get rid of that, and we got these hard lines here, and this is what we want to get rid of next. The way to do that, of course, is to go to filter, go to your blur, and go to your Gaussian blur. In this case, what we generally want to do is we want the blending between the uh, white, the light, and the the non-light part to be nice and soft. So we've got a hard line here. We basically want to get rid of that hard line, and that eh, something like that actually, not too bad. Maybe right there. Okay, 21.9 looks pretty good for me in this case. Presto. Now we've pretty much got it. Now do keep in mind that if it is too bright, you can dial down the opacity here so you can reduce it as you see fit so that's why it's better sometimes to go a little bit too bright because it's easier to dial down the opacity than to go back through all those steps and make it brighter that's how you do it guys thanks for watching